Hi hey, crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to cover layer zero airdrop. This is the ultimate guide. You are not going to need to see any more videos about layer zero after seeing this. Like always, if it's your first time here, I cover airdrops almost daily and I do step by step videos on everything that you need to do to apply to these airdrops. So this is the same case with layer zero. I already covered layer zero in the past, so many of these things are still valid. So I'm going to send you to this video for some of the steps, but I also did some updates. So everything is going to be in this layer zero airdrop. We are going to cover a little bit about the project and what has been happening on layer zero and all that you need to do for this airdrop that I think is going to be possible to happen during this year. And because it's powered by Stargate Finance, PayPal put money on this, many other companies are putting money on layer zero. So I think this is a great opportunity for another airdrop after what we saw with Arbitrum. If you are new here, remember that I have my subscription page on my website cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions. I have a private Discord channel where we cover special information, real high value information about different airdrops, distribution of the airdrops so you don't miss anything of that, crypto portfolios and much more things. And I have been developing an application which will help you to register and apply for airdrops very, very easily. So here you can see how my app works. I have two videos with updates and I am doing more updates in April on my app. So if you really want to manage multiple wallets and do a lot of money with airdrops, I did the Arbitrum airdrop in 12 wallets thanks to my application and I received a lot, a lot of tokens of Arbitrum tokens on that. So check my application. It's a game changer for airdrops. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to this Layer Zero airdrop video. First of all, thank you to everyone here that is subscribed to my channel. We just reached 15,000 followers on the YouTube channel, which is my main social media platform. So thank you for that. And if it's your first time here, I am a YouTuber that is mostly dedicated to airdrop videos and crypto topics. So if you go to cryptocurrencystate.net, you can see all my videos related to airdrops, different airdrops to apply. And all of my videos have a step-by-step -step guide. So if you are new in crypto, you are going to be able to follow the steps of the airdrop easily. You can click here and check my video even in the web page while you follow the different steps with the links on how to participate on the airdrop. So really easy if you follow my web page here and do the airdrops from there. But if you want to do another step and be really into airdrops, I have my subscriptions in the subscription section to my private Discord where we are very active there in terms of airdrops, airdrop distribution and new airdrops that I cannot cover because I don't have the time to make videos about everything. And my application. My application is really a game changer. It's going to help you to register all your airdrops and apply to airdrop. So if you're fighting with Excel files or different files on how and what you already applied to an airdrop, what transaction you did, all that is solved by my application and you can create your custom airdrops there. So check these videos on how my app works and soon we are going to have more updates on my app. Today we are covering layer zero airdrop. This is an omnichain interoperability protocol and enables the realization of cross-chain application with a low level communication primitive. So another project similar in this, this aspect is Zeta chain. I already covered Zeta chain so you can go and check for Zeta chain airdrop if you want. So you go here. You can search for Zeta, Zeta Chain here on my search bar and you're going to see my airdrop videos about Zeta Chain. I already covered layer zero in October and many of these things are still active. So some of the steps are going to be set in this previous video. And like I mentioned in this project before, Coinbase put money for layer zero. PayPal was one of the first crypto companies that put money here. FTX in that moment, we don't have FTX anymore. But this is a high project, they have a lot of funding and the project is actually really cool. They want to solve the intercommunication between blockchains. They are an omnichain project and they are powered by Stargate Finance. This is a position 263 with 100 million of market cap project. 
They used to have almost a billion at some point. So it's a really big project, Target Finance. So everything that is related to target finance could be also a possible thing for an airdrop on, on layer zero. So that is also included in my video. In terms of community, almost a quarter of million followers on Twitter. They are really big. The same happens on the layer zero Discord. Big communities behind it, but not much information on the Discord. And there are no social stuff to do. So that is a very good plus. We don't need to do any crew three tasks or anything like that. So now let's go directly to the step-by-step -step of layer zero. Like you already are familiar with my step-by-step, -step, usually step one and step two is follow layer zero on Discord and Twitter. Why? Sometimes because it's a requirement to the next steps. But in this case, it's because there is the only official places that you're going to receive new information about the project, the airdrop or anything else. So it's better that you already follow them because maybe you are going to be trapped with scam Twitter accounts or another Discord. So here you have the official two links. You follow them on Twitter, follow them on Discord. Those are steps one and two. Now, step three, you need to add Gorlig Ethereum network. This is a test network of Ethereum. In order to do that, you go directly to this link, which is the chainlist.org. Here you need to click include testnet and search for Gwarlik and you add this to MetaMask. I already added, so I am basically switching to that network. So the Gwarlik network is a testnet for Ethereum, basically. So after you do that, that is step three. You need to do step four. Step four is you need to get she Ethereum from Faucet. So this is Gwarlik Ethereum token. It's a Faucet token doesn't have real value in the market. It's only for testing purposes. So here in Faucet link that to slash Gwarlik, you are going to find a couple of links. So all these links, when you click here on the URL, you are going to be sent to another URL where you can get the Faucet tokens. From here, my two favorite ones are this one. Put your address here, click I am a human and click on start mining. You're going to mine these tokens. And when you have a significant amount, you can claim that. So it's easy, of course, all this is easy. And it's free, of course. And the second one is garlicfaucet.com. This is powered by Alchemy, another project that has a token. And basically here you can log in with your Google account. So I am already logging here. And what you need to do is just you put your address here. You click I'm not the robot and click send me Ethereum. You are going to receive 0.02 garlic per day. When you click on send me Ethereum, you're going to see this animation. And after a while, when you check your garlic Ethereum uh, wallet, you're going to see that you receive it, the tokens here. So this is the garlic Ethereum. This is garlic. So this doesn't have real value. And those are the ways to get your garlic Ethereum Faucet tokens. Now the step five. And at the end of February, layer zero launched a bridge between Ethereum and garlic Ethereum. So you go to the Medium article. You can check it there. Basically it's related to public goods by layer zero. And this is the last thing that they launched in order to test and to use for the application. So I think this could be one of the things that they are going to check for a possible airdrop. This is a testnet bridge and they basically explain how it's difficult to get Warlick Ethereum and how they are doing this bridge in order to help, which is step six. You go to the, and use a testnet bridge doing transactions and adding liquidity. So go to testnetbridge.com. It's going to send you here. This is powered by layer zero. So that is why we are using it. Down here, you can see that says powered by layer zero. Here you connect your wallet and from here you can send Ethereum into Garlic Ethereum. So in this case, you are using real Ethereum from your mainnet and you can see that you can send it from another networks too. So let me select, for example, Arbitrum here, Ethereum from Arbitrum. I will put 0 0.01 and I will try to, uh, this is a lot, so 0 0.5. And I will try this for Garlic Ethereum on Warlick. So click on transfer. So the gas is here right now, I'm crazy, but I will confirm just in order to do the transaction. So here I'm transferring Ethereum from my Arbitrum into the Garlic. So transaction submitted. We need to wait a depending transaction. Basically, you need to wait like five or 10 minutes guy on this. Now you can see that saves complete here. And if I check my Garlic Ethereum wallet, I have 54 tokens already there. Transaction work it. The next thing that you can do is go to liquidity and wraps. And here again, you can send Ethereum into M Ethereum on Gwerlik. 
So you have some liquidity pools. I will recommend you to enter into one. You can do it from Ethereum to Garlic Ethereum in the Arbitrum network in an Uniswap pool or the same here on Optimism on mining Ethereum or the testnet Uniswap pool too. So it's very easy to do, has been working, takes some time the transactions, but I didn't have any issues. If you have any issues, you can put a comment and I will check it and answer it. So that is basically the step six. Now, step seven, you need to use the layer zero bridge like I explained in my previous video, using the USDC demo that, that layer zero that network slash bridge. So you go here to my video link, it's going to send you here and check my YouTube video. The first thing that I explained there is exactly what I am going to show you here. So this is the URL that you are going to find it in my step-by-step -step post. Here you can use Quarlic Testnet to Fushi Testnet. This is from Avalanche. In this case, everything is explained in my video. When you click there, my video, you're going to see that here I explain exactly how to do all these transactions on USDC demo. So follow those steps and how you get thousand tokens. Everything is explained in there. So after using that layer zero bridge step seven, again, step eight is you need to bridge using layer zero on liquid swap bridge. Liquid swap here is a bridge that use Pontem network. So in this case, you are going to need another wallet. It could be the Petra wallet or Pontem wallet. Pontem doesn't have a token yet. So I recommend you to use Pontem wallet too. And this is also powered by layer zero liquid swap. So here you can send tokens from one wallet on one chain into a wallet to another chain. Of course, you are going to need to have to pay the gas fees on the native tokens. So Pontem is an Aptos token, so you need to have a little bit of Aptos tokens to do that. And again, you click here the link on step eight, and it's going to send you dire directly to my video in the exact part of the explanation on how to do the transactions there. So step eight is you need to do the transactions in the bridge of liquid swap. Now, step nine, you need to use the Aptos bridge. All these are bridges that are powered and use layer zero. So that is why we are using them. And again, I explained this, this is the Aptos bridge. So the Aptos bridge was launched in October 19, 2022. And here you can see how it works and the risk is on that. Actually, there are no risks right now, guys. It's a super proven bridge. So this is the aptosbridge.com. You go to bridge, which is called transfer here. And you can select from one wallet to another wallet also. And again, you have here the link of my video, exactly the moment where I explained that. So click this link. It will send you to that layer zero video that I did. Still is valid. I already tried that before doing this video. So everything is working. And step 10, you need to bridge swap and enter liquidity in Stargate target that finance slash transfer and I explained that in the previous video too but like I mentioned before layer zero is powered by Stargate so make some transfer here go to the pool enter liquidity and farming if you are willing to also try to stake something why you want to stake guys and that is because step 11 which is also explained in my video here exactly at this moment I would recommend you to buy some Stargate token stake to be a DAO voter on next snapshots. So once you have your STG tokens that you can buy in any decentralized exchange, you can go here and stake them. So after you connect your wallet, you can see that I have some stake it here in Avalanche. So after doing that, you can stake it and you are going to be able to vote for snapshots. So right now there are not proposals opens, but when there's some open proposal for Stargate DAO, you are going to be able to vote after you have your stake. And if the snapshot for the proposal is after the day that you stake it. Everything guys on that is explained in my video again. This is step 11 to participate on Stargate. Again, layer zero is powered by Stargate. So I think that is also an important point. And guys, this is your ultimate guide for layer zero. They don't have too much news to share besides partnerships. That is mostly that what you're going to see that happens on the Twitter and the Discord. They have a lot of partnerships going on. Really cool. They are making progresses. But many of that is partnered with this project, partnered with another project. But in terms of things to do to the airdrop, it's everything that I explained in, in this video. I checked it, everything that I could on internet and in another YouTube videos, but there was nothing else besides what I already covered, guys. 
So I think really this is your ultimate guide for layer zero airdrop. Follow these steps. You have 11 steps. And if you are using my application, then you can go to cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscription. Click on subscribe now. Here you can see how it works. Then you are going to find this as layer zero airdrop final guide. So it's really easy. You can search it in my application and you can apply easily to all these steps with multiple wallets because it's mostly transaction. So I think this is one of those uh, projects that worth it to use multiple wallets because you really don't have too much community stuff to do here. So really, it's only transactions and wallet registration of your transactions. So guys, that is all for layer zero airdrop, your final guide, ultimate guide of this possible airdrop. Remember that all this is a speculation. There is nothing confirmed by the team. But again, never they are going to confirm it. So remember before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and follow me at Crypto C State on Twitter where I cover more airdrops that are not in my videos, news and different things that are only happening in Twitter. That will be all and I see you in the next video. Bye.